me, Mr. Spider. You think you can just crawl onto my poo? Wait. <laughs> that came out wrong. <laughs> I'm coming for you. Die. 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 It's Tuesday. Normally I do my art streams on Tuesdays, but I'm switching things up just because I really have to get my convention prep done since that is a priority. So that's what I'm going to do. I have to run some errands. I need some ink cartridges so I can finish printing prints. I might need more little plastic baggies that I use to put people's buttons in when they get buttons. I'm going to have to check and see how many I have. I also would like to finally get a hair dryer because I want to actually do my hair at the convention. Yeah, that's probably it for errands unless I can think of something else. I need to get a bunch of laundry done and uh, last, yeah, last minute convention things and preparing for my panels. That's going to be a big one because I am making a whole PowerPoint presentation for one of them. Nothing fancy, but just like images and text and planning out the presentation because I am alone for one of the panels and so it's up to me to carry things through. Kiki, your nails on the wall. It's worse than nails on a chalkboard. Stop it, cat. So first things first, I'm going to see. <laughs> I'm going to see if I have any plastic baggies. I know I found some in the storage room. Oh, hey, some of my old little makeshift business cards. They're just on cardstock. <laughs> hmm. I think I want to update this actually to put my latest header up there. Print off a new thing. <laughs> Wait. <gasps> what the heck? Oh yeah, I got an actual tablecloth because this is a sheet. This is a tablecloth. I forgot that I bought an actual tablecloth. Okay, all right. Kiki, not for you. I don't think I have any baggies in here other than these little red ones. Let's see what I have in here. Um, where were they? <laughs> I know I saw them. Oh, here. This is like all convention stuff. There's like coin rolls, some bigger bags, but I don't need these anymore. Like this. So these are the ones I buy. I get them at Dollarama. So there's one pack. What else? Is that the only pack I have? It seems like the rest are all big ones. I didn't even realize I had that many left. Well, some are big, some are medium bags. But... Oh! Oh, hey, I do have three whole packs. Wow. I didn't know I had that many. Four! Oh! Oh! Okay, perfect. I don't need to buy any. Four should be great. Five! Okay. Seriously, I thought that was it. Is that it? I have five packs. We're good to go. There's plenty. Boop. So that just leaves the hair dryer and the ink. Right, okay. I'm kind of hoping Superstore has a hair dryer because I don't really want to go very far. Looks like they do, so perfect. There's one downside of me leaving right now. I'm waiting for my business cards to come in the mail today. So I'm gonna leave that note on the door. And then I just have to hope that either the package doesn't require a signature or I will be back before they even come for the delivery. So I'll try to make this a quick run. The hotel most likely has a hair dryer, but I've just been meaning to pick one up anyway, so yay. Okay, now Best Buy, because Superstore doesn't carry the ink that I use, so yes. Available online only. Oh my god, duh. Usually I buy it online, right? But this is like two last minute. I need to get it in person. I guess my next try is London Drugs. Ugh. There's gray, but not light gray. So the guy at London Drugs says they're out of stock, but there's not even a spot on the shelf for it, which is weird. So we checked the system for other London Drugs locations and they don't have it either. So I'm gonna check this computer store that's down the street 
And if not, I might have to drive to Staples. So there's that. I don't have it. Okay, so I decided I don't want to go all the way to Staples. There used to be one nearby, but it closed. And so all the Staples are just so far away. Not like horribly far, but I have stuff I need to get done today. So I decided to do a new print nozzle check because if you saw yesterday's vlog, the reason I am not, I don't have light gray. Like I do have it. It's just that it's printing streaky because the nozzle was clogged or something and I did a deep cleaning and a bunch of regular cleanings and like would still print streaky. But I just did a new test and it looks perfect. So <laughs> I'm going to try printing again. I'm still glad I went out and got that magenta though because I needed that. My ink attacked me. Why? <laughs> it just like dripped all over me. Why is this thing so scary? So I just built half of what I'm going to need for my table. I'm thinking of building the same thing twice and just having it on my table. So. Um, if you're standing facing my table, oh, it's falling apart. Just pretend that's snapped in. It's not. Okay. So I've seen people do displays like this where it's kind of V-shaped and there's one on either end of the table. And so people kind of walking from the sides can see some of your art a lot better. And so I have one of these on one end of the table and then one on the other end. Because how I've done it in the past is it's kind of opposite and it's in line with the table like this. So what I had was, I had this, and I think I might have had a second row. I'm not sure, maybe it was single row, but it went higher and then it went across like a bridge down to both sides. But uh, just to save space, I'm just gonna do the opposite technique where you just have it diagonal and one on each end of the table, and they won't be connected. I might just tie a string between both of them and then I can hang things if I want. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, it's a kitty in a cage. Mommy, you're the one who's caged. <laughs> so here's how many I'm bringing. There's 12 pieces versus how many I actually have. So I probably could bring a few more, but I feel like I don't really need more. If I'm doing the setup I described, that's really all I need. And that leaves room for actual merch and stuff. So that's nice because this won't take up too much suitcase space then. All my prints are in here. This is actually one of the boxes where the print paper came in. They're really thick and sturdy. So it's perfect, like perfect size for the prints. That is amazing. So, yep, they're all in there. And then in here I have the display prints. Like one for each and then just more clear bags because um, right now the ones that are in here they're all grouped together in one sleeve and so as people buy them I'm going to have to put them in additional sleeves so there's that it just doesn't close all the way because the sleeves are a bit too tall so yeah so I'm pretty sure I have most of my table stuff set aside here I might be missing something but I'll remember, hopefully. <laughs> At least I have the important stuff. So there's the merch, like I showed you, the prints. And then I have buttons in here. I did not restock this container, and actually there's a bunch of empty slots, and I was considering not even bringing it, but I figured why not, because this stuff actually is less than I thought it would be, so yeah. Yeah, then my metal grates. I have the connectors in here, as well as some tape, scissors, and string. I have just regular scotch tape. Then I figured I might want black tape. I don't know, um, maybe if I want to tape down the edges of my tablecloth or something. Who knows? And then packing tape. So <laughs> I'm covered in the tape department. A lint roller for the table, and I can also use it for my clothes. These plastic baggies, I found even more of them. So I probably don't need to bring this many, but whatever better safe than sorry I have float money including a lot of really small bills and then here are some medium-sized plastic bags I don't know if I'll need them but let's say someone buys a few button packs and maybe some individual buttons then maybe I want a bag so there's not many in here because I usually don't need that kind of thing but just in case and then this is just empty usually I this is my little case where I bring scissors and pens and stuff but I might just use it as my cash box this time, even though I have a legit cash box. This is just smaller and lighter, so I'm just, I'm going to bring this, especially since I won't be dealing as much with coins because 
um, Americans don't have loonies or toonies, they have one dollar bills. So there's that. The only kind of coins I would probably get are quarters. Like if someone's using small change to buy a button, then I'll receive coins. And then in here I just have a few pens and markers and things. So I have a black marker and a red marker just for making signs. And I got like my skinny sharpies, regular pens, that kind of thing. And then there's my tablecloth. And then here I have some paper. I have both card stock for signs and then just plain paper in case I need to write something down. Then over here, button sets and more sets in here. So that should be the bulk of what I need for my tables. It feels like so little. I bring more than this to my conventions here. So that's crazy. Wait, you know what I'm missing is that business card holder. Well, and the business cards. Peer later hasn't come yet. I'm getting angry. They're like, yeah, it'll for sure be delivered tomorrow because it's supposed to be delivered Friday. Anyway, I'm gonna make a new sign for this, I guess. I mean, it's fine the way it is, but I kind of, I wanna update the banner and use a thicker font so you can read it better from afar, so, yeah. I checked the tracking on the business cards. It says that delivery has been moved to tomorrow because of a mechanical delay. This is getting really annoying. I'm gonna phone them right now. Hopefully they're still open and be like, okay, can I just come pick it up myself? Because it's getting ridiculous. It was supposed to be delivered on Friday and now it just keeps getting pushed back. And I absolutely need these by tomorrow. Like what if the driver comes to deliver it tomorrow and can't find the house? Like then I'm screwed, right? So I'm gonna call them and just say, I'm coming to pick it up. So Pure Later said the truck broke down. It's like, why? Why does this keep happening to me? Well, not that specifically, but just <laughs> Pure Later issues. Like, ah, I thought I had a lot of dime and everything. So they're gonna put in their request for me to be able to pick it up, but there is no guarantee that that they'd be able to do that. Like, <laughs> it's hard to explain, but she said, I'll know if I can pick it up if I check the tracking and it says it's available for pickup because I think there's a 6 p.m. cutoff and it was 5.58 on the phone. So she's like, okay, it's two minutes to the cutoff, but I'm gonna put the request in and hopefully it goes through. So that's what we're hoping for. And if it goes through, I can pick it up tonight even. So that will be good. I think I'm just gonna drive there because I can't risk waiting till tomorrow. So I'm gonna go there now. So I was inside for half an hour, but they have it, they had it. So first you had to go back and see if the truck was even back. And it was, but they couldn't get inside the truck because they didn't have the keys. So they had to find the keys in the manager's office. And then because the truck was still full of packages, they had to like dig through them all. And she said she almost gave up, but then it was at the very back of the truck, like propped up, squished against the back. She finally found it. I was like, oh, thank God she didn't give up because uh, I don't mind waiting that half an hour just to make sure I actually get it. So I got my business cards. Oh, God. Yes. Now I can head back home. I'm back home. That was totally worth the time. I mean, it took quite a while, but I'd just rather know that I actually have them instead of stressing tomorrow as my final chance because if for some reason it wasn't delivered tomorrow, would I be able to pick it up tomorrow? I don't know. It, it was just le too much left to chance, right? So I'm glad I went and actually picked them up. So they're just kind of basic. Uh, website, YouTube, and email on it, along with my logo thingy. And then that's just what's on the back. <laughs> Baby, you're on the card, you little chair snatcher. Kiki, you're on the card too, you little bag baby. She was in that bag earlier. Huh? I shouldn't let you go in these though, because that's where we put our groceries. I highly doubt I'll need a whole box of these, but I'm gonna bring a whole box of these. Actually, I'm gonna take a few out and put them in my wallet. I haven't even started laundry yet. <laughs> I was so focused on organizing my panel. And, like I'm writing down a whole bunch of notes and things, kind of like the rough outline before I start doing the actual PowerPoint thing. And, uh... I kind of forgot about the laundry, so I'm gonna go do that. This presentation is taking forever. <laughs> I'm 12 slides in and they took me forever. <laughs> and I got a lot left, so. Yeah, huh? <laughs> the less information I put on the slides, the quicker it is usually, but I still have to plan out like 
what I'm gonna say, all that kind of stuff. So it's taken a while and I'm trying to insert some images, but they're always too big. I gotta resize them, fiddle around, and just make sure everything's laid out nicely on the slide. So yeah. I'm just worried that what if I get there and there's no projector in the room? Like I requested that when I submitted the panel, but what if that room doesn't have that? So I don't know. <laughs> it better because I'm putting all this effort into this. So yeah, I am I am gonna record this and we'll post it on my YouTube channel. The only way I wouldn't record it is if San Japan requests that I don't. Uh, I don't think they would do that, but I could see them doing that if they want to attract more people to the convention. Like if people know they can just see it online, then why would they come to the convention? That, like, that could be a factor or something, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm sure they'll be okay with it. So um, I will record the panel, not the other two, but this one I will record for the YouTube and it uh, should be good, but <laughs> yeah, it's taking so long. Like I will not finish this tonight. I'm kind of just waiting for this last laundry load to be done so I can throw it in the dryer and then I'm gonna go to bed. But I don't know, we're getting down to the final bits. <laughs> Oh, I'm now on to page 15. The beginning was stuff about building up your online following, tips, that kind of thing. Now I'm getting into the making money portion of it. Just various ways to make money. I can't disturb this baby. Sorry, Kiki. I need the SpongeBob junk book. I feel bad, but as soon as I leave the room, she's going to get up anyway, so... Thanks, baby. It's time for the SpongeBob joke of the day. What has two big claws and is very messy? A slobster. I'm very loosely using this template and it's kind of funny because Texas. Okay, it's 12.30. The laundry just finished and I just finished slide 15. I feel like the rest won't take that long now. I just think the intro bits, not really the intro bits, but like the first half bits took longer than I anticipated, but the rest of this information is kind of like one slide per topic and so it's pretty easy to just write a few things down and then the rest can just come off memory and based on people's questions and things like that so it should be okay so i will have to finish this tomorrow though but uh, i'm gonna go to bed so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow what was i saying oh yeah i'm kind of like stressing out now about the timeline for san japan because yeah, I found the full schedule by downloading this guidebook app and it says who's on what panel and so two of my panels are shared. I discussed the panels in yesterday's vlog if you don't know. It turns out I have three panels to do and they have a lot of overlap.